I want to get your response to what Donald Trump did this week. He held a rally in Pennsylvania. He attacked the population of Haitians that have moved to Charleroi in the southwestern part of the state. He said towns and villages across PA are inundated and that this represents a war on workers by Kamala Harris. I wanted to give you a chance to set the record yeah. straight on all those claims. Well, let me make a few points. First, um, it's complete and utter bullshit. And he's been <laughs> called out on it by the town manager. He's been called out on it by the Republican state senator who represents, um, quite honorably represents that community. He's been called out on it by local officials and, and others who have said what Donald Trump is saying is absolutely false. By the way, what Dave McCormick, the guy running for Senate against Bob Casey, has said about it um, is absolutely false. Um, Charleroi is a wonderful community in Washington County, Pennsylvania, a community that has seen migrants contribute to their economy, contribute to their community. You've heard that from residents in the area. And by the way, Charleroi is also a community that's facing serious economic challenges. And instead of actually offering something that's going to help them address their economic challenges, Donald Trump goes and shits on the community. Uh, and it's not only disrespectful, it's really dangerous. When Donald Trump creates kind of others in our community, he puts people at risk and he makes us all less safe. And that is really, really dangerous and destructive. I'll tell you the other thing, you know, they do have, as I said a moment ago, serious economic challenges with plant closures and other things. As governor, I'm working with the community to help lift them up, to help address that. I'd love to have uh, elected officials and want to be elected officials like Donald Trump actually do something constructive that helps the community instead of tearing them down. The last point I'll make is, is this, Greg. You know, Lori and I are blessed to have four kids. Um, and, you know, we try and teach our kids to love thy neighbor, to treat people as you would want to be treated. You know, basic common sense values, values that have been around since biblical times. Donald Trump fails that basic test of what we want for our kids, the way we all try to raise our kids. And, and I think Charlotte Roy and his attacks there, his attacks in Springfield, Ohio, which were of a similar way, um, just is really, it is not only reprehensible from the standpoint of someone who wants to lead the nation, it's reprehensible from the standpoint of someone who just failed the basic lessons that we try and teach our children. What about his underlying claim that immigrants threaten American workers and their livelihoods in some sense? Can you address that? The unemployment rate is 3.4 in uh, Pennsylvania, so it's hard to see exactly how this inundation by immigrants is, is really a war on American workers, but I'd like to get you to address it substantively. There's an underlying claim there. Can you talk about it? Well, his claims are all completely false and legal immigration has helped strengthen communities across Pennsylvania, whether it's on our farmlands or in our small towns, in our factories, uh, in our manufacturing base, we have seen, or, or in our small businesses, we have seen um, those who have legally come to this country, who have done the hard work to be here, who have come to communities, um, strengthen those communities. Now that's not to say we don't have communities across Pennsylvania that um, have economic struggles and economic anxieties, but and, and they're real and they're legitimate. But to point the finger at immigrants as the reason for that um, is not factually correct and it's morally wrong. I want to bear down on this a little bit more. Uh, in addition to all the lies Trump is telling about Haitians, there's no question they're lies. It's all nonsense. There's another story underneath all that. It's that Mass immigration is eroding the sense of rural, small town, non-metro solidarity and community that people supposedly used to enjoy. Now, here's my question. Do Democrats need to speak to that directly? It's one thing to say, I'll sign the bipartisan border bill that Trump cynically killed. Very good message. And, you know, true. He did kill it. Also would be helpful. Um, for they're the terrible country. on border security. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, right. He said right, Trump sabotaged the country for his political purposes. It's a good Correct. message and it's true. But do Democrats need to take on the deeper argument a bit more? I noticed you said immigration is good. You don't always hear Kamala Harris say that. You don't always hear national Democrats say it. Should they say it more directly? Well, 
I think legal migration has helped strengthen this nation and strengthen the Commonwealth. And when I go around and I talk to our farmers, um, they talk to me about immigration and they want to see more um, migrants come legally to this country and help them on their farms. When I talk to small business owners or people who operate factories, they recognize that um, we need to make sure that we are both growing, you know, sort of growing talent within our schools through investments in VOTEC and apprenticeship programs and other, you know, skills based learning to help strengthen our communities. And to add to that with migrants who come to this country legally and ready to work. And I, I think that is all very, very important. And when I listen to people in their communities, that's what they're sharing with me.